Today, we're on a job in Orangevale, California, where we have three things going on here, really. One is dry rot work um, at the drip edge, as you can see behind me, uh, to where we had to remove some uh, roof, subroof sheathing and replace it. Also, uh, behind that is a valley, with, which was uh, installed incorrectly that we had to rebuild, or we're in the process of rebuilding. And behind that, where you can't quite see from my viewpoint, is an air conditioning unit on, as a roof-mounted unit and those are notorious for having problems and we've had leakage around that as well. So today, this repair involves basically rebuilding the roof where it was done incorrectly or has leak problems. When we do eave work like this, especially when it's in conjunction with a termite report done for say a real estate transaction, we would prefer to do the part in the eave that, that involves the roof because sorry for you termite guys, but typical termite uh, companies aren't roofing companies and they're great at replacing the dry rot however not so good necessarily unless they've hired somebody that was in the roofing business before good at re putting the roof back correctly so that it doesn't reoccur after the dry rot work's been done the first time so highly recommend you have a licensed roofing contractor do the actual eve work in this situation and uh and one that's actually also more qualified to do uh, technical repair work and leak troubleshooting to do the actual, uh, this type of work where the roof is still in okay shape, but just needs a tune up of some sort. I'm Adam and this was a Roof Doctor Report.